it's time once again then to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. It's a tricky circuit to tackle in wet conditions, with top speed still of critical importance down the long back straight. There are 2.7 miles and 14 corners overall on this circuit that in the dry can see average lap speeds of around 130 miles per hour. We'll be lucky to get anywhere near that today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole and the owner driver alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Hamilton, George Russell and Perez, Verstappen, Norris, Ricardo, and Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Mick Schumacher, Valtteri Bottas and Ocon, Sonoda, Magnussen, Guan Yu Zhou and Lance Stroll, Albon, Latifi, Vettel, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Jack Aitken. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Now, Natalie Pinkham, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today from the midfield teams, trying to put pressure on or disrupt things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run. I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut whilst leaving the other out longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into making an error. Right then, the formation lap has started. And I must say, the weather conditions aren't the best today for visibility and for grip. As each driver performs this lap, they'll be wanting to settle in and concentrate, as this race, in these conditions, will require a lot of focus. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right, which ones have got it horribly wrong?
So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Charles Leclerc's points today take him to the top of the championship standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? Well, it's absolutely got to be Alexander Albon. No hesitation. He put in a performance today that's only going to build further on his already growing reputation. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.